Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. We hey, this is Jason with As One Promotions with H, the man behind the music. We finna interview him about his new album coming up, A Thousand Crowns. Um, H, tell me who you are real quick for the people who don't know. Just a rapper, young ladies and gentlemen. I'm just a rapper, that's it. Um, now, nah, I do music, you know what I mean? I do a lot of promotion things with other artists. I give artists opportunities to open up for big artists. I uh, give artists opportunities to work on their craft. I do a little bit of this and a little bit of that, man. Word, word. So tell me the, um, the concept behind 1,000 Crowns. Tell me how you came up with that. Um, basically, I was just uh, really watching a lot of Game of Thrones, 300, things like that, you know what I'm saying? So, and um, it kind of reminded me of uh, the rap scene, kind of, okay. you know what I mean? Like, if you ever watch Game of, you familiar with that show, Game of Thrones? A little bit, a little bit. You know what I mean? There's the king of this, and then there's the king of that, and the king of this, and you know what I'm saying? And then there's the true king of this, you know what I'm saying? So, it reminded me of like rap, you know what I mean? A lot of cats, they, they're the king of this, and they're the king of that, and you know? Right, 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 so you gotta, I guess kind of, you know, it's kind of like um, the movie Dracula. You gotta kind of take that, take that throne away, kind of take that crown away, I guess. Yeah, yeah, something like that, something like that. That's, okay. Yeah, that's about accurate. Okay. <laughs> now within the album, like the songs, you know, within Thousand Crown, which um, songs that you you got on the project that stand out to you? Um, I got a track called Smile with um Tom G and uh Kid Brick. Okay. And this is a really deep track. Just you know what I'm saying, like my verse. I'm talking about my um. My mom, you know what I'm saying, growing up with, with two kids and, and telling them that I'm proud of her. You know what I'm saying, Tom talking about his uh, his uncle and what he had to go through. And uh, Brick is really talking about his mom and how he appreciate what she did for him and his, that his dad wasn't around. Word. So that's one of them, the um, Fuck the Police record. Word. That's that's pretty dope. Y'all yeah, um, got a video for that, right? Yeah, yeah, we shooting right now. Um, we actually got the remix with the Boy Swords from, um, from Duval and then we got Larson on it. So that's pretty dope. Um, we got, it's, it's a lot of, I'm, my favorite joints on there is like the freestyle joints. Those are my favorite ones. You know what I mean? I got a couple of them. My man, uh, DJ Dundada, he sent me some beats. Mm -hmm. And um, I got this one joint called uh, Don't Stop. Okay. And it's basically just talking about the grind. Like one of the, um, one of the lines was like, I picked up the mic, walked the fuck off the job. Bitch, I'm grinding. Then I got the sample, <laughs> don't, don't stop. Don't, don't stop. So it's, it's pretty, it's pretty good. It's pretty dope, but yeah, I got, I, you know what I mean? It's, it's pretty dope. All right. It's pretty dope. All right, H, tell me um, so far on both sides of the fence, being an artist and a promoter, what's the biggest challenge that you had to face so far? Uh, not choking one of these niggas out, man. <laughs> For real, man. Like, me being an artist, I understand, but the, 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 the business side of it, like the being uh, cordial, um, being, uh, having thick skin, like ignoring shit and just like, huh, comes with the territory. It does come with the territory, yeah. real shit it do. But uh, yeah, like that's that's one of the biggest things I had to overcome. Like I'm, I'm pretty good now, but mm -hmm. for a while it's just like somebody say some shit and I'm like, I already know. like what you say my man? Like you remember back in those days, yeah. man, back in the days, man. But yeah, that was like one of the biggest obstacles for me. Everything else is business, you know what I mean? Like staying ahead of the curve, you know, mm -hmm. you do something, you do it successfully. Um, a lot of people try to emulate it and, and, and do it and to no avail, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like, we're watching the people that, that, that used to, you know what I'm saying, frequent your shit. And then they yeah. go and see it and be like, oh, I think I could do it better. And then they try to do it and it's just like, you been better off just bringing it to me and we could have we could have broke it yeah. down and made some money but yeah now now when it comes to the cypher from inception day one who would you say and i'm gonna marginalize down the top three who will be your top three to ever grace the stage at the cypher i mean when you put together everything lyrics stage performance it's overall overall top three from 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 Nine years ago to now? Yeah, even if you had to see him grow, like. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, see, I don't, oh, a total package? Uh, one of my best, one of my favorite performers to see hmm. and watch grow is uh, Krim. Okay. Krim is definitely one of my favorites. Um, just to see him grow, like, the, I, I wasn't a fan the first time. Probably not the first <laughs> 10 times, you know what I mean? But Word. now he's one of my favorites. Like, just the way he, he he's learned to captivate the, the, the stage and the crowd. And, you know what I'm saying? He's one of my favorites. Um, 
to watch grow um J Rock. Okay, yeah, yeah. J Rock watched them grow because for a long time I, I wasn't really a fan. You know what I mean? I'm an artist at hand. I mean, at heart, I'm, I'm still an artist. So I look at certain artists, I'm like, eh, yeah, man, I don't see what the big fuss is. But like, nah, he's he's really polished his, his stage presence. And he's definitely like one of my favorites. Um, three, I would have to say, three, it gets tough there. It gets tough at three, because I've seen a lot of people grow and come a long way. Or, you know what I'm saying? Um, What's the name? I always thought Ja had something. Mm-hmm. I always thought he was pretty. He was pretty cool. He's not like extra, but he he has like a presence. You can see he's starting to get more comfortable, more polished. Um, if I had to go with a third, I would say To. 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 Like, I think I always thought To was dope. Though. Yeah. Like, from the first time I seen him, I I thought he had something different about him. Something when he used to come out with a little guitar and shit. I like him because he's fearless. He seems like he has. Yeah, but I don't it's, care it's what you think. Oh, like it's some new, it's some the new blood's pumping now, man. Yeah, as you can see, they won. You know what I mean? King of the stage. These dudes is new to the cipher. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they ain't even a year in yet, and they just came in. But the To did that last time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's 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 the newest. Like the freshman class is coming back in. Or yeah, it's it, yeah. If I had to go top three, I would do that. I would do Krill, um, J Rock, and To. And this is really not like a lyrical thing. It's more of a stage presence thing. Mm-hmm. Um, lyrics to me are just lyrics until you bring them to life. Like that stage brings them to life. Yeah. And it's not too many dope lyricists that has stage presence. You know what I mean? It's like when the cypher is like one of those things that's self-promoted. Right. So it's not like I'm out here in the streets handing out flyers. Like if you know about it, you know about it because you look for it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. Now, if you ever had to do like some um, type of collaboration project, where if it was if it was just you know strictly for you know people you work with and stuff like that, whether it be DJs, producers, and artists, you know what are a few you know of those people that you would actually put on the project? Some artists. You know, some people that you probably never worked with before. You mean like my art, like my album, or like um, a just a, just a, like a collab, like a at, yeah, like a compilation album. Um, that you you know that you would jump on the track with them. Um, let me see, Kalia. She has like one of the dopest voices, like mm-hmm. singing wise. Like, I like I like R and B, bro. Yeah, I, I, for real, for real. Like her, C. Renee, um, Courtney. Those are like one of those are my favorite like singer singers Fiona like those yeah. are like top notch to me in the city like give me those give me some uh, Ryan Kendrick right right um yeah he has an amazing voice um Black Boy from Hush Boy yeah 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 that dude is super talented mm-hmm. um people that I haven't worked with I ain't did nothing with Ja yet Ja's mm-hmm. pretty dope we we kind of in the same lane when it comes making that that smooth laid back music mm-hmm. um let me see uh. All right, this is tracks with Mike. It's not. It's not too many. It's not too many producers. I work with a lot of dope producers because I don't really work with too many producers. Yeah. But I got go to the beat battles and I'm like, yo, I gotta do some work with y'all. But that's the album. Album time. We're gonna go digging that crate. Work, work. We're gonna start working on the album soon. As soon as we put this project out. Work. Cool. Now from from your last project, Power, to to a thousand crowns. What's the you know, what's the growth between both albums? You know what I'm saying? Um, me, I'm getting more back to that raw feeling. Okay. Back to that that uh, up north type shit. Um, back to, uh, to me, the basics. Back to the basics, man. Like, I think the, uh, the power joint was more, um, I'm not gonna say emotionally driven, mm-hmm. but it was like a lot of situations that was going on that I put in that, you know what I'm saying, in that joint. Like, I had the, um, I had a couple tracks. I had a couple tracks for the ladies, and I had a couple relationship tracks. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I really put a lot of my my issues on that on that CD. This one, we back to the business, man. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. This one, we we. You know what I mean? I touch deeper more into like my personal, like my past. Mm-hmm. Um, but other than that, like it's it's really tough. It's real tough. I got a lot of laid back and a lot of aggressive. So that's kind of like like the balance. Um, what do you expect to see different, or what are you planning? Um, that you can actually tell us, you know, for this album versus the other albums. Um, this one, we have a lot of eyes on this one. This one. Uh, um, I have to do it right this time. Like I have to make sure I, I dot the eyes and cross the T's. And um, we're gonna be doing a lot more traveling, a lot more. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Burning the globe up. And doing 
doing just different like it's 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 pretty it's gonna be pretty interesting okay like 2015 should be pretty interesting you know we um talked about you know how you compare that to your last albums um you know let the people know who what, what you got coming up next you know if anything as far as any projects in mind or any ventures um you know that might be you know small or you know even tell them where they can find you at man listen you can find me at h101.com um next is a thousand crowns man that's it um that i want to share with y'all <laughs> word but, you know that's 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 you know we got the eyes on awards we got uh, a couple other things going on in the, in the, in the probably closer to the summer but yeah it's gonna be fun man a thousand crowns h as one yeah. Yeah. word H, you know, I'm Jason with As One once again. You can find me at www.asonepromo.com. Ride around the city with my hat down. Tupac banging in the background. Cops pull me over at the light now. And all I can think about is Mike Brown. I ain't did shit in my tags right. Motherfucker in my face with the.